two dogs here back with another uh, series which I kind of started uh, a while back uh, called getting started the basics and I promised in that video that I was going to come up with another video shortly um, things came up and other things took priority so I apologize for that so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try for every week but if not it'll be within two weeks I'm going to uh, be putting out these little grab bags of tips and tricks and that's basically it's going to work as during the week I'm going to come across things that I think other people should know when they're starting out and I'm going to put them all into a video at the end of the week or end of two weeks and throw them up in these grab bag series and so it's a new thing basically and um, hopefully some people get some uh, useful information out of it it'll be just you know little things you know not glitches or hacks or anything like that I'm just talking about like stuff that uh, I've learned in my experience with the game and would like to share with other people a lot of the more experienced players are going to know a lot of this stuff and um, I'm, I'm just hoping that it uh, reaches an audience that uh, may need some help with the game or is getting stuck with something so I'm just going to throw these things out randomly and it's going to be like a mixed hodgepodge thing. There's not going to be any rhyme or reason to it. But uh, if you enjoy the series, drop a like and subscribe and check them out. And without further ado, let's get on with uh, some of the tips and tricks. Okay, I just want to speak a little moment about the first uh, thing here, which is lag and decent. Um, I see a lot of posts on Reddit and stuff like that saying, oh, what happened, you know, like, uh, the guy was, like, beside me, and then he was, like, behind me, and all this kind of stuff. Um, as a new player, you're going to come across this in games, and you're going to be mystified by it, but it happens. And I'm showing here an example of it, and uh, it's a really good example. And it can work in your favor, it can work against you. But I just want you to know that it does happen. You don't have to get too upset about it. I know it's hard, you, you know, especially if you're up north somewhere and you're here and da 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 da. But it's it's not really your fault. It's it just happens and it's part of the game. You just gotta chalk it up as shit happens. I think that's pretty much it. So there you go in that last, last example. That was a uh, lag working in my favor. But I get my come up in here. Same server. Uh, moments later. And this is an example of when lag works against you. I mean, that last person must be kicking himself even in the wet. If I can but, you know, I get it here. While we're on the topic of lag, I might as well move on to vehicles. Because uh, lag can be a death sentence for you, basically. Or, de well, a death sentence for the vehicle you're in. Um, you can get frame drops and you'll be sailing along the road there. And then next thing you know, you're sailing along a field into a tree or a building. So I want to stress this point because I, I don't think it's been okay. mentioned enough. A lot of new players will find a vehicle and they'll hop right in it and they'll, you know, quickly look up how to use it and they don't really know what they're doing and end up destroying a vehicle on a server within a couple blocks, city blocks, and just leave the vehicle there. Well, I'm going to show you here in this uh, clip uh, how to destroy a vehicle because the, the whole point is, is when you destroy a vehicle, it will respawn in another location, usually on a server reset, I don't know. That's, it, it responds, that's all you need to know. If you don't destroy the vehicle, it will not respawn. It will sit there and sit there and sit there and nobody will get a chance to get a vehicle on that server. Or that, will that, nobody will get a chance to get that vehicle spawn on that server for quite some time. So carry a pack of matches on you. You just gotta go to the gas tank and uh, Bob's your uncle. You gotta crouch. I'll show you on the different vehicles here where the gas tanks are located. And if you can just help keep Janaris clean and don't litter, that'd be great. Cheers, guys. Now I don't have footage of me destroying a bus, but if you want to destroy a bus, you got to crouch at the middle uh, stairwell where passengers get on, and that'll do it. That'll light it up. As far as uh, driving vehicles, I've got uh, a vehicle uh, tutorial in my video list. If you want to check that out, all the information has changed a little bit, but it still works. Cheers. Okay, enough about cars. Let's move on to burlaps. People want to make ghillie suits, right? 
Burlaps can be found in a number of places. Uh, here we're going to find one in the shed. And this is where you most commonly find the burlaps is in garden sheds. Um, it take, you need to cut them into strips and then you stack the strips. Uh, you can use your knife and uh, I think it's eight strips make the ghillie suit. Then you're going to need another two strips for the gun, ghillie gun wrap and two strips for the ghillie hood. You're going to need cans of spray paint. You're also going to need a bunch of netting. Not as much netting though. Probably about six uh, pieces of netting should do it. Okay, let's move on to two of the more popular weapons and uh, the more desirable weapon in the game, and that's the, sh the double barrel shotgun uh, without it sawn off and the double barrel shotgun sawn off, as well as the M4. We'll do a couple things there, and basically this is about turn ratio. So when it's not sawn off, it, it's a little bit sluggish on the turning. And uh, of course, having it like this gives you better range, uh, better accuracy, and better grouping with the pellets. Now, don't do this, don't saw off anything with ammo in it because you can kiss your ammo goodbye. So I just lost those two shells. And you see, they're gone. So the thing with the, the sawn off shotgun that I want to stress though is it's quicker, it's faster, you got a better reaction time. It uh, takes four slots in your backpack, it's easily concealable. Uh, the grouping is wider of the pellets, so you're gonna get a bigger spread, and it's n not got the range. Up close though, it's deadly. You'll take a guy's head clean off, get him with one shot. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your armament. This is a nice little gun, man. I love it. Okay, let's move on to the M4. Iron sights for close combat, that's what people like. Uh, if you're into PvP, like, I, I like PvP every once in a while, I go with the iron sights. I keep a scope in my inventory for uh, long range uh, contacts. Now, back to turn ratio, I'm going to fool around with some of the different butt stocks and show you what the turn ratio is uh, for uh, the M4. Now, CQB, which stands for Close Quarter Combat uh, Stock, is your factor stock. This is great for PvP. Uh, you can see it's on the gun right now. And I'll just show you what it's like for turn ratio. Super quick. Okay. A lot faster with the CQB. Keep that in mind, you want to find one of those if you're in a PvP. Now we're going to with the original equipment stock here. A little bit slower, a little bit slower. Better uh, for taking long range shots. Yeah, it kind of speaks for itself. You just gotta play around and see which one best suits your playstyle, but definitely the stocks make a difference. Okay, let's briefly uh, skim over the wolves here. I, I think I'm wrong on a lot of things, but I think the closest uh, wolf spawn is Dubrovka to a spawn point. And it's up near the V3S cargo spawns, uh, that's why you, you, it's a good chance you'll find a V3S cargo up there because people don't like going up there because of the wolves. Now, think you gotta know about wolves. Get in a building, get in a hunting stand, get in a caravan, get in the back of a van. Whatever you got to do, get in somewhere where they can't reach. And then pot shot them, stick them through the window, whatever you got to do. But if you take wolves on in an open field, keep in mind that they can one-shot kill you with a headshot. Uh, they'll cause bone damage when they bite you. You're going to run into a lot of problems with wolves. So the best thing you want to do is get inside somewhere. Don't stand too close to the walls because their heads pop through the walls sometimes. Like clockwork, here's the wolves and no car cargo. Hey, there's a little caravan here. Here I'm going to take on a wolf with, or a wolf pack with uh, 10 IVH rounds and an IVH. It's pretty simple once you're safe and sound inside some place. down, two shots, not bad. 
another thing to remember is wolves are on a pattern. They'll stop and bay and look right at you. And this is a great time to shoot them, like right here. Two wolves down. Two wolves down. Three shots total. Four shots, three wolves. Hey, you gotta like that. There you go. Headshots. With a wolf pack, you only gotta kill three and then you're free. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that and uh, let's see what kind of tips and tricks I can come up with uh, in the next week of play, or the next two weeks of play, and then I'll make another video. Uh, hope you guys like it. Take care, all. Holy shit, fuck that fucking hell.